So this video is very quickly, I just wanted to let you guys know that I have received a lot of emails of uh, different ones of you um, wanting um, the cash, the binders like I use. Um, I have been able to get a good vendor to get the larger ones from. I still cannot find a good enough or a vendor with a good enough price to be able to offer um, the small binders yet. These are like triple the cost of the, well, probably double the cost of these. So I'm still looking to find a vendor that I can get um, these smaller ones for at a decent price. And if I find that, I will offer the smaller ones too. But right now I am just offering the A6. I have uh, nine different colors and I should have I don't have all of my colors available right here. Let me see if I can um, pull up all of the different colors that I have available. Because I only pulled, I just pulled the ones that I have um, in my collection that I'm using. And so um, I didn't even think to get the other ones um, out to be able to tell you guys what all colors I offer. So... Okay, I'm just pulling it up on my screen now. Okay, so they're going to be offered in red, blue, um, the pink. This is the small one, but it's the same exact color pink. Um, sky blue, yellow. Uh, I have an orange, a purple, this green, and I have black. So those are the colors that are available, and I will show you what is included with it. So um, obviously you'll get your binder, and it is um, the A6, I believe is what it is considered. And I already measured this, but I wanna make sure. So it is about seven and a half inches tall, and it's about five and a quarter inches wide when it's closed. So, um, and it's made, it says it's the PU leather. I'm not sure, but it, it feels really good. It does have the magnetic closure and it does come with two pin loops. It's got your um, credit card slots here. I have a credit card right here, but I do have this. So it's got some um, card slots here. And then it's got some storage area there. And then in the back, it's got um, that storage area. It is the six ring binder. And included with each one will be five of the um, vellum envelopes. And you can pick um, what you want each envelope to say. And try, you know, it needs to be limited to about 10 letters because if you get over that, it starts messing with it. Um, and then I offer it, I think I offer um, like five different fonts. I believe, yeah, there's five different fonts available um, that you can pick for your, um, for your um, words on your envelopes. And then guys, y'all know me, y'all know I'm a little extra. And so um, included with each um, binder, you'll, you know, you get your envelopes, but you will also get these, um, the cash insert um, trackers, and they are going to be, they match the, um, the color of the binder that you pick. So your purple binder will come with um, the five vellum envelopes, and it will come with five purple of the cash um, trackers to go in there. So that's the purple. This is the sky blue, and this one is one that I'm using. Um, this one is mine, 
personally, but so I'll go ahead and show you. So it's the same thing. It's got the um, card pockets. It's got the two pin loops. It will come with the five um, envelopes. And what have I done to that one? I got it in there wrong or something. Um, and it's the same thing. It's got the pocket on the back. It's got the pocket on the front, your two pin loops. Um, and then this is the green. And so it's the same type thing. It's exactly the same um, with the exception of the color. That's the only difference. And then the yellow one. And these were the only ones that I pulled. And I didn't even pull these. I didn't even think to pull the others. These are the ones that I have um, on, my, on my desk. That's my personal binders. And so... I don't know why I didn't pull them, but the um, orange, I don't think I can, I'll, I'll put, um, I'll insert at the end of the um, video, I will insert a, um, a photo that has all the different colors available, and I'll also do one that has the different um, uh, fonts available. Now, the other thing that I did do that I listened to you guys on is I have listed the, um, the, um, cash envelopes so I have them in the a6 size and I have them listed in let me grab it I have also listed them in the a7 size um, these are both already on my are in my Etsy store so that is for the a6 size which fits in these binders here and then the A7, which fits in these size binders. I, I just, I don't have them available right now. Not at a decent cost. Um, so those are available. Um, now the other thing I am um, trying to see if I can do it cost effectively is the, um, the 50 envelope challenge. My biggest thing right now with this, it's not the cost of the box or the envelopes, it's the cost of the shipping. Um, so, I don't know if, and let me, guys, let me know in the comments below um, what your thoughts would be. I can sell just the, um, just the envelopes for the 50 envelope challenge and then you go and purchase a box yourself, um, which would be the cheapest option for you because shipping on, and it's not the weight, it's just the size of it. Um, so that's, that's my, you know, little predicament with this because I've had several people that do want that system um, and I can offer the envelopes either um, just, you know, the little clear three by three um, envelopes, or I can do them, um, the vellum with the, the number on it. Of course, it will be sealed on both sides. I was just being goofy on that. Um, and then you can also order just the three by three envelopes. If this size works better for you to put somewhere, you can order these. Um, I will put. I will list them. They're not listed yet, but I will list them to where you can order just this size um, envelope with. Um, and of course, there will be no hole punching or anything on them. Um, and you can have a word up to maybe five letters on that. Um, and then I do have. I've not listed them yet. Well, none of the small envelopes are listed because, like I said, I've been battling trying to figure out um, a cost-effective way to ship that. And then I will offer some, they won't have the numbers on them, but I will offer some sets that are the little cash envelopes that are made with the um, designer paper. Um, so these will be offered in probably sets of five. Um, so... There's that, but let me know what you guys think. Um, if you would be interested, I mean, I can put, you know, I can put one on there. 
that includes the box so that, you know, if somebody does want to pay that shipping, you know, I'm fine with that. Um, and then I can put just the, the envelopes on there so that if you want to purchase just the envelopes and then go and buy, I think a, um, an index card storage thing fits really good for these. Um, and I'm trying to see if there's anything else I have. I am also, and um, the other request that I've had is for my um, laminated savings challenges. Um, so I have mine laminated, and I think I've already showed you guys this a couple of times, but I'll show it to you one more time. Um, and that's another thought is let me know on this. Um, sometimes these markers here can be a little difficult to find. These are the wet erase markers. Um, I can include, um, like I can do a bundle of the laminated challenge cards and include a wet erase marker in there. If that's something that you guys would think, just let me know. Um, so with this, like you can write on here um, with this marker and you know, you can color it in, you can do whatever. And then, um, the one thing I really love about this is that once it, once you've written on it, and it takes a couple seconds for it to, you know, dry, but once it dries, then you can just take, and it's not going to wipe off. And to get it off, you actually have to, um, that's why it's called a wet erase. You actually have to take um, a marker. I mean, not a marker, Lord help me. You have to take um, something with water and then you can just wipe it right off. And so this challenge, these challenges are reusable. Um, so I will offer these um, in my Etsy. Um, I'll probably include, I'll put it in like, um, because you see, I've made the envelopes for mine. Like this one says July 4th challenge. So what I'll probably do is I'll try to group some of the similar ones together and maybe do like a group of five. So it would be the five envelopes, the five challenges and a wet erase marker. Um, let me know what you guys think about that. Um, if that's something that you would be interested in, I will get that um, in there, you know, as quickly as I possibly can. Um, because like I said, I enjoy my challenges. I don't, I have them all and I've got them all in my binder, but I don't do them all, you know, so they're just fun. And then I have them to where each, um, individual, you know, you can decide what your goal is and you can decide, okay, th these are only going to be worth a dollar. These are going to be $2. These are going to be $5. So you can really customize each challenge to exactly what you want. Um, so there's that. And I think that's all guys. I'm not sure. Oh, wait, let's do a giveaway. Who wants to win some cash? I know, I know, I know. I lied. I said we would do this when we hit 6,000 subscribers. I know. So I, I'm just feeling awfully generous today. So, we are going to have this challenge run from now until Sunday. Uh, Sunday is, I don't know, let me look. Because guys, y'all know that I can't keep up with, with nothing. Okay, let's see what Sunday's date is. Okay. Sunday, February the 5th. That's when the challenge is going to run to run through. Okay. So to be entered into the drawing and it will be a, um, mm, I'm going to say a $25 gift card and then I'm going to put some stipulations on it or not stipulations, some 
all sewns, I guess you could say. So to win a $25 gift card and that gift card, I can either send, send you cash via um, PayPal, Cash App, or Venmo, or you can, um, I can email you a gift card to Amazon, um, you know, Starbucks, some of the, somewhere that's got an, you know, um, an online uh, gift card so that I can just pay for it online and send you the information and you've got it. Okay, so $25 um, will be what the, um, the prize is. And let me get my little pen out here so that I can write this down because guys, y'all know I have no memory. Sorry, gotta get it open. Okay, so um, it's for a $25 gift card. And to qualify for the drawing, um, you need to be a subscriber for sure. Um, you also need to like this video. And what's today's date? 2 1. And then you need to leave a comment. And in your comment, let me know um, if you are liking my budget series, if you prefer my budget series, if you prefer my junk journal, um, that kind of series, or if you don't mind seeing a combination of both. Um, so it, the comment will be budget, journal, or both. Okay, so this is for a $25 gift card. Um, and the contest will run through Sunday. And um, since it's running through Sunday, I'll do the drawing on um, Monday. So I'll put that drawing on two six. Okay, now here's my little if. However, if we hit 6,000 subscribers, between now, um, what, today, 2-1 two, to 2-5, if we hit 6,000 subscribers, it'll be a $100 gift card. So, there you have it. Share, 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 share. Make sure you share this video, every video, share my channel. If we get 6,000 subscribers between now and the end of the contest, which is Sunday, then that $25 gift, $25 gift card will actually become a $100 gift card. So, let me know what you guys think. Let me know. Um, and I will try to remember to post links to, these are already listed, the binders are already listed in my Etsy, as well as the A7 and A6 frosted envelopes, so I will go ahead and list those in the description box below, um, and I will get the other stuff listed, like ASAP, and um, I'll either put it in the community tab, or I'll get back on here and do another video, letting you guys know that it's all in there. Um, make sure that you subscribe to my channel, it helps me out. It helps me um, with all sorts of stuff because, you know, this is how we earn our money on YouTube is through the, the views, um, viewer, the views, the comments, the watch hours, you name it. So make sure that you um, are subscribed. Um, if you want to help donate to the channel to help me out, this is not a requirement by any means. Um, all of the money that I receive from the um, the Buy Me A Coffee, that goes um, straight to um, like the sinking funds or the savings challenges. Or if you want to donate money to the Buy Me A Coffee and say, hey, I want you to put this in this folder and you want to earmark it for a certain envelope, guess what? That's what it's done and I can't touch it unless it's for that. Um, so if you guys want to help me out with that, my Buy Me A Coffee link is down below. My Etsy shop is listed down below. Um, 
some of my favorite Amazon finds are listed down below. So, um, yeah, just let me know what you guys think. And I want to thank you all so much for being such uh, amazing subscribers. You guys have been great. I appreciate you all so much. And I will see you guys later. Remember, like, subscribe, comment, share, 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 share. Isn't $100 better than $25? Hmm. All right, guys. Bye.